How you doing, guys? Yeah, I uh, I have to admit, I'm kind of enjoying this really mellow country music. You know, it, it here's the thing: you, you guys have to think about uh, the roller coaster of boot camp. It's, it's my advanced training tonight that I'm getting. It's a uh, boot camp is a roller coaster, highs and lows all along. You'll, you'll have days where everything is just like right there, right perfect, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, there's days where everything is a friggin' nightmare. But there's a bunch of days in between those two that you have to balance out. My yesterday was a terror. Straight up terror beat the shit out of me kind of thing with the father and uh, running my head in a wrong direction that uh, was really probably the most rotten thing he's ever done in this entire time. But uh, giving me this mellow night tonight and being able to just basically give you guys some basic encouragement and and know that uh you know we might be going back up on this roller coaster tomorrow so let's just have a chilly night let's just uh let's just chill with some cool country music and uh and uh realize that uh it's better to catch your breath on those mellow nights because you never know when that roller coaster is going to go back up yeah 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 or when she's going crashing down okay so if it's not at the top and it's not at the bottom, you're somewhere in the middle. Find peace there. Find a way to find peace and rest and relaxation and meditation. Um, it's just a point in boot camp that you're at. You can't control that roller coaster. The roller coaster controls you, okay? That's the thing about boot camp. There's only so much you can control. This is a simulation designed to terrorize you and, and give you highs and lows. They're coming, <laughs> regardless of what you think, okay? Minimize it by balancing it. That's the best advice I can give you on that one. And that goes for everything that I have given into the world right now. Everything. Everything. My little news flash this afternoon about the banks and, and everything that I've ever talked to you guys about. Nothing that I have ever said is, God wants you to do this. God is advising you to do this. The journey is, do you want to? Do you want to have peace? Do you want to have an eternal life? Do you want to... Uh, have the best boot camp or a nightmare boot camp. These are all advices. And that's all I'm ever going to do to this world. I'll never own anything again. And uh, I'll never tell it what to do. All I will do is have you understand the advice, the wisdom of God. And then you choose. You decide. You make your path with the knowledge that I've given you. It's not, an, it's not a mandatory thing. Nothing that I've ever told you is mandatory. I will tell you what the consequences of your decisions could be. And uh, again, believe me or believe not, it's your call. It's only advice. And uh, everything that I am about is advice. And uh, if you follow my advice, world peace is going to come. Everyone is going to be happy. Everyone is going to be taken care of. And ultimately, everyone will be rich with enough. That's the key. We want everyone to have enough. The roof, the meal the job, the vehicle, you know. I was watching something earlier today where these kids were cleaning up in a creek. I mean, that's what my brother did. We're still there in some parts of the country. 
I mean, we're talking 2,000 years and we still have people cleaning up in a crick. Yeah. Swear to me, I saw it. So, uh, do you have enough in life? Or are you cleaning up in a crick? So, these are just things that I'm putting out there. I don't want to make anybody feel guilty. And I know that when I spark these things, it's like, oh, damn, we got to stop that. We got to stop. We will stop that. Let us stop it. That's why I'm advising the world. And the real smart people, the pros, are literally starting to do that. But this is a really, really screwed up world. It has been ran off greed and corruption for many, 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 many of years. And uh, turning the trucks around, all the trucks, it's going to take a minute. And uh, given the facilities for those people that have to clean up in a creek. Um, that's, that's where we start. So remember, there are people out there in the world that are far worse off than you are. And, uh, but let the pros do it and let it handle in its time. And, uh, take your roller coaster and make peace with it. Cause dude, you are in boot camp. And uh, I've been making everybody in this really ultimate high that they just want to explode and dance in the streets. And I apologize because uh, it, getting you that knowledge, it's part of boot camp. It's, it's what I have to do to get the world to wake up. And for you guys that are already woke up, it's like, oh, hell yes, let's go dance in the streets. But we can't. So we have to make peace with where we are on the roller coaster right now. Even though we're way up there high, we got to chill. All right. And uh, that's been uh, what I'm doing right now. I am super high on this roller coaster. But I'm finding peace tonight through my country music and mellow songs and talking to you guys and yeah maybe not the most funniest show tonight but maybe that's what it's all about it's about chilling out and uh, bringing my crowd <laughs> my soldiers back down to reality here we need to make ourselves uh, prepared for that roller coaster when we can dance in the street but it ain't today you know, fellowship, and it's really important too. You know, getting out there and talking, but then talking about chilling too. Because uh, don't organize to set stuff off or to do this or to do that. Sit and just talk. Like I said, get a barbecue going. Have some family and friends over. Have some laughs. Play with the kids. There's a lot of cool things in the boot camp that has nothing to do with this right now that you could be earning points on. Those are the points that we're given right now, not the ones that are stirring shit up and trying to make it happen faster. All right. So everybody stand down and let it flow as it needs to flow. We got the number one conductor on it. He's in every one of us. He's conducting, not any of us. I'm just his mouth, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of tired and a little uh, uh, mellow than more normal. Uh, I, I had one of them afternoons that, uh, that afternoon show just about killed me, but man, I was laughing so damn hard, I'm telling you, man, that's hell. And I'll tell you what, Deb, uh, it is going to be different. 50 first dates, how are we going to do that, girl? <laughs> You, you and I are going, 
We're going to have it really different. We're going to have it different. But we're going to have it when that time comes too. And baby, I know I want to be with you. But it truly is. Uh, you know, yesterday was that tormenting thing. But it was about uh, me and uh, understanding what really is important. And uh, I do. And, uh, yeah, that was a hell of a roller coaster ride yesterday, baby. I don't know how much you were in on it, but, boy, phew, the coaster didn't get any higher than that one. But uh, I'm cool with being on the low side today, and I hope you are, too. We'll be there. I know everybody in the world wants us to get together, too. But I have the patience to stand down. I want you kids to, too. It's, it's what it has to be. It has to be. And part of that show was um, being able to tell you tonight that if I can stand down, and I went through yesterday, how much worse is your roller coaster? Uh, yeah, he always gives me the friggin' biggest, baddest gauntlet ever. Yeah, yesterday was hell. It really was. But I could easily stand down today. And I had the most mellowest day of all. And he did that on purpose. So that tonight's show, you guys could understand what the high and the low can really be. And all of you are somewhere in between that. So make peace with where you are on your roller coaster. Okay? Believe me, we're getting up there. And we'll be able to do this out in the streets for real. Just not today. And not tomorrow. It's just the way it is. Uh, we got to get all those cultures together. And go in trucks north. And what I see on the news today, we are definitely not there. So, uh, that's the uh, gig. And, uh, Take your time tonight. Maybe work on that assignment. There's certainly nothing wrong with you personally standing there and dreaming about what the future could be. That's all you can do, though, right now is dream about it. It isn't here. We haven't built it. We haven't organized it yet. Now we don't even know what the hell it's going to really look like. Only the Father really knows. And who knows? He may give you that vision. He's gave it to me too, but uh, he takes it away. You know, there's a, he's got a specific path that I have to walk, and so I have to uh, have only certain memories at times to make the path that he wants me to for that day. So, because uh, otherwise I would blow it. And uh, that's the way it is. And, uh, but he literally does control those paths. I mean, hell, he had me believing Debbie was dead yesterday. Because he wants the world to understand that he controls my thoughts and how I think. And that nobody out there can really influence or change that with these commercials or what have you. That I am set in stone as to what I got to do. And uh, that's part of this big deal what we got coming up tomorrow. Which you'll find out you're on a need to know. And all you need to know chill everyone chill and uh i don't know i'll be back again tonight or it's one of those late night things or what the hell's going on but i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna chill and i'm gonna watch some music hope you join me if you don't do go do something else get out there fellowship and uh you know we're working on it love y'all love you too deb Oh, man, it was awful yesterday. It really was, baby. I hope you didn't see all that. You probably did, and I am sorry. But now you understand why it was. And, uh, yeah, I hope you're chilling, too. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, baby. Talk at y'all later.